Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Karen. In today's video, I will show you the elastic cords I use in my jewelry. There are two types. The first type is 0.8 mm flat cords. And the other one is 0.5 mm round cords. And then I will also show you how to secure a beaded bracelet with round cord without glue. Most of the time I use 0.8 mm flat cords because they have different colors. I can match with different crystals and healing stones. And the 0.5 mm is usually transparent. Usually when I make clay quartz bracelet, I will use 0.8 mm flat quartz. And I use four elastic quartz to make a 10 mm bracelet. But some people will like using transparent elastic cords to make bracelets. It will show the beauty of the clarity. So how do we tie the knot and then without glue? If you still remember how to make elastic cord bracelets, then you will know how to make this one. Two cords, so the steps are almost the same. And then we tie two knots. One more. With the flat cords, it's actually done. But with the round cords, the knots will slide because it's round and it will be slippery. So it cannot be secure just tying two knots. Therefore, we need to tie another knot to secure the cord like this so the knot is here if we tie another knot okay so this one is the original two knots and then you add one more knot right here and we cut the string and then we tuck it in and then it's done Right now I will show you what I just meant. If you use round cord and just tie two knots, not adding the third secure knot. Okay, I just did two knots. And it's actually pretty tight, but what will happen to your bracelet? There you go. It's getting loose because it's round cord and it is slippery this is also why we never use round cord to make three cords or five cords because when we use three cords or five cords you need to make the needle with the cords itself so just remember that with round cords 
um, you can usually use four cords or two cords and remember to tie the secure knot like this one is three knots and it's really secure 